Hello everyone, welcome back to my class. This is grade 3rd math. In today's video, we will revise chapter 4 that is shapes. Okay. So let us revise recap exercise. First bit, look at the shapes and fill in the blanks. One has been done for you. Okay. Okay, this, this is rectangle shape. Okay, first one is rectangle. It has four corners and four sides. Okay, so it has four corners. One, two, three, four and four sides. Okay, the opposite sides are equal. Okay, opposite sides are equal. Okay, second one is square. Okay, so this is the square. It has four corners one two three four and four sides all sides are equal one two three four all sides are equal okay third is triangle okay so this is a triangle okay it has three corners and three sides one two three three corners and three sides these circle okay it has zero corners and zero sides okay so this is circle it has zero corners and zero sides e oval okay it has so this is the oval shape it has zero corners and zero sides okay next is understanding simple concept in geometry okay first one is point okay so we this is the point okay this is a point it shows a definite it shows a definite position okay so this is a point it shows a definite position second is straight line okay a line has no end okay a line has no end points okay a line has no end points it has no definite length okay it can be made in any direction. Okay. It can be made in any direction. Horizontal straight line. Vertical straight line. Slanting straight line. Okay. So, this is horizontal straight line. This is vertical straight line. And this is slanting straight line. Okay. Next is line segment. A straight line between two points is called a line segment okay straight line between two points is called a line segment okay the point p and q suppose this is p and q okay the point p and q called end points of the line segment point p and q okay point p and q called end points the line segment PQ okay PQ they are called end points of the line segment okay next is ray okay MN is the ray MN is a ray it has one arrowhead to show that it can be made longer from the side of N okay it has one arrowhead okay so it showed that it can be made longer from the side of n okay mn has one end point m okay mn has one end point m is called the initial point of the ray this, this point is called the initial point of the ray m n next is intersecting lines lines a b and c d are crossing each other Lines A, B and C, D are crossing each other at a point P. So, these are, so these are intersecting lines. Okay. A, B. Okay. C, D. Okay. So, middle is P. Lines A, B, C, D are crossing each other. Okay. Lines A, B, C, D are crossing each other at a point P. So, these are intersecting lines. P is called the point of intersection. Okay. P is called the point of intersection. Okay. Okay. Last is curved lines. Zigzag lines are 
curved lines and can be made any way you like okay so these are zigzag lines or curved lines can be made any way you like okay so so today's class we have learned about the shapes okay and the understanding simple concepts in geometry like point straight line line segment ray intersecting lines and curved lines okay so in the next class i will be doing the continuation okay so in the next class i will be doing the continuation of a seven revision i hope you understood the concept thank you